Hey, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. Today, we're gonna be cooking an American classic on the Z pellet grill, meatloaf. It's gonna be a simple recipe that we're gonna kick up a little bit. Stick around. Hey, welcome back folks. Now we're gonna go through the simple ingredients we're gonna use for this meatloaf that we're doing on the Z Smoker Grill. We have two pounds of 80-20 uh, ground beef. Uh, we're gonna use about three tablespoons of garlic, salt, and pepper. We have a quarter cup of parsley, one large egg, a quarter cup of uh, basic ketchup, one chopped medium onion, and panko bre breadcrumbs. After we put all these into the bowl on top of the meatloaf or on top of the hamburger and mix it, we're gonna top it with Cosmo's uh, dry rub. It's cow cover. I've used this one other time. It's a great product. I suggest you give it a try. I always start off with adding my wet ingredient first, which in this instance is an egg. So you just wanna crack this, put your egg in there, and then I just start adding. I'm gonna put the salt, pepper, and garlic over top, parsley, do the breadcrumbs, the onion, and then the ketchup. Now, there's no really better way of doing this uh, than actually using your hands. So I would suggest getting yourself a pair of these gloves. Uh, if you want to do it barehanded, that's fine. Uh, I prefer to use something so it's not getting into my ring, but we're just gonna simply mix it now. And you want to fold it over, just keep folding it back and forth. You don't want to really kill it. Uh, that's not the point. You're just trying to incorporate everything, mix it together. And once this is all together, we're gonna go to the next step, which I'll show you. Stick around. Okay, so the next step in this process is gonna be, we have our mixed up ground beef. Uh, and then what I got is a foil uh, loaf pan. And basically, all I did was took some uh, saran wrap and placed it around the inside of this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the meat loaf, or the meat into there, into the bottom, nice and even. And then we'll cover it up completely and we're gonna stick it into the refrigerator for about an hour so it sets back up. And then we're gonna show you the next process, which we're gonna cook this on a chicken rack today on the uh, pellet grill. We're just trying to get this as even as possible. Uh, I usually put the sides in like that, make sure that you know this is completely up on the sides. And basically, just gonna bring it over like that, and cover everything up. And then we're gonna stick this in the refrigerator one hour, let it set up, and we'll start cooking it. Okay, folks, welcome back. What we're gonna do at this point is I got a chicken rack here and underneath it, I just have a basic uh, baking pan and I sprayed it down with cooking spray. We got the meatloaf back out of the uh, refrigerator, which was in there for an hour. Uh, and basically, you know, we wrapped it up and just kept it formed to let it sit back up, set back up. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it on here and then we're gonna put some of our uh, Cosmos dry rub. It's the cow cover on it uh, as a final uh, step. And then we're gonna go ahead and place it on the grill. We basically just unwrap this uh, it's supposed to make it easier to get out. Uh, it keeps it a little cleaner as well. So we're just going to flip this out of here. And then set it down on. So it's got it nice and formed up. And then we're going to go ahead and use the cow cover. And I'm just going to put this on, just cover on the top. 
You want to make sure you try to get it on the sides as well. You can get it all the way around. You can rub it in a little bit. This stuff works really good. It's got a good flavor to it. You don't want to rub it too much because you've seen how I knocked a lot of it off there. So just come around this side a little bit. There. Just kind of pat it in. And now I'm going to cook it right on this uh, chicken rack. It's going to make it a lot easier to transfer back and forth. So let's take it over and, and put it on the grill. So we're cooking today at 350 on this Z pellet grill. Uh, I got a blend in the hopper uh, that we're using today. It's uh, hickory, uh, pecan, and a little bit of oak. So we're just going to set this right in the center. We're going to close it up and we're going to cook it for about one hour uh, until we reach temperature, probably about halfway through. We're going to go ahead and stick a probe in it to keep an eye on it, get up to about uh, 165, and then we'll check it again with an Insta read. Stick around. Yeah. Can you fill that up? <laughs> hey, welcome back, folks. Uh, we're about halfway through, about a half an hour into this cook, and uh, we're going to go ahead and insert the uh, dot by Thermalworks uh, at this point to watch it dress the way through so we don't get it overcooked. I got to set it at about 160. That way I know it's, I'll know when it is getting close. So you can see it's starting to get some nice color on it. Uh, you don't want to go in too deep because you don't want to get it to come out the other side and then you're getting a false reading. So we're going to go ahead and close it back up. Probably give it another half hour, 45 minutes and we'll check it again. So our dot went off about uh, 160. We're gonna go ahead and check it at this point uh, with the insta -read. This is a uh, javelin. Uh, we'll post this at the bottom of our of our feed and you can check it up, check out their website and see if you like their products. So you can see we're actually about 163. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and at this point, I'm going to put on some, uh, this is a product by Killer Hogs. It's the barbecue uh, sauce. Great product. As you can see, there's not a lot left in this bottle. So we're going to give a little shake. We're just going to put a little bit on the top and then take the brush and brush it around. So. Some brush. Giving it a real nice color. Get a little more on there. So we're going to give it about 15 more minutes. We're going to pull this off and give it a try. Okay, folks, we're at 165. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull this off. As you can see, it got a real nice color. I'm just going to lift this chicken rack out of there. And set this on here. We're going to take it over here, set it next to our cutting board, uh, let it rest for about 15 minutes. We'll cut it up and we'll get to see what it tastes like. Get you some. Hey folks, welcome back. We got this pulled off. It's rested about uh, 15 minutes. We're going to go ahead and, and, and cut it and try it uh, and see how it tastes. Get a couple slices here first. Pull this piece here out. Fall apart a little bit on us. But you can kind of see the, the smoke ring there. It's done all the way through. We're going to give it a taste now. 
Mm. You can definitely taste the Cosmos cow cover coming through, as well as the Killer Hogs uh, the barbecue sauce. I recommend both those products. You can find them at the bottom of our, our page here. Uh, try this recipe out. It was easy. I mean, not a lot to it. Uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. Like and subscribe to our page. Get you some. I forgot the rest of it. <laughs>